Yo, what's up? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to the walkthrough of my new drum EQ and effects rack. Crunchy and punchy drums. Free download on the blog. Uh, this is what it sounds like. <laughs> So as you can hear, uh, it really works well. It really gets the sound really fatty, or really fat and really crunchy. So if we listen just to the drums here without the rack on, you'll notice that it's almost hitting at zero dB. So it's already loud, but it isn't perceived to be loud. So the way we might change that is by using the Crunchy and Punchy Drum Rack by Joshua Casper. Just turn it on. And just right here from these eight macro knobs, you've got a lot of versatility. Uh, you can boost the, the kick. Or you can boost the snare. Or you can boost the bright noise or the higher end of the, the spectrum there. Pretty sweet, right? And then there's the main gain where you can make it even louder if you wanted to, or you could even turn it down. Pretty sweet. And then we have the compressor controls, the main compressor controls. We have the threshold and the makeup. We also have the dry wet for the compressor. And we also have the saturator, which we can make the drums a little more crunchy if we wanted to. So as you can hear, if you boost that up to around six, it gets pretty crunchy. But that's the, the gist of it. Um, inside of here, I do want to make a note that I did use the glue compressor. So if you don't have the Live 9 Suite or the glue compressor, you're going to have to uh, make do with, with the regular compressor or a third-party compressor. Whatever floats your boat, whatever you're using. But the idea is pretty much the same. So anyway, go ahead and download that. I'll make a tutorial on how to make it sometime in the near future. Uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.